We have some new developments tonight in a story that we first brought you last night at 11. A Gresham police officer took a woman's camera by force after she was standing on a sidewalk recording an arrest on a Portland street. Well, lots of folks are talking about this, and tonight we went to Gresham Police for some answers. So, is what that officer did legal, and does it go along with police policy? Quinn Local 6 reporter Chris Woodard looked into this. He's live in southwest Portland where this happened. So, Chris, what are the police saying tonight? At this point, Kelly, police are still standing by their officer and what he did here at this intersection, but they say they are still looking into the matter, though at this point, they don't seem to have any doubt that what he did was legal. I'll take a look at the video for yourself. This is Carrie Medina filming the arrest of a man police say took off after they approached him about littering. The video shows a Gresham police officer grab Medina's phone after she says she doesn't want to show him the video on it. A police say the officer had the right to do that. Is this the correct way to handle it for the officer? Um, I don't know what you mean by correct. But... Should the officer be taking a phone away? Is that legal? Absolutely legal, yeah. The situation we have is this. The officer was, was arresting somebody for resist arrest, so we actually had a crime being committed. This person potentially is recording that, which is evidence of that crime. There's a, a legal term called exigency, which is a fancy way of saying emergency. The emergency exists in that that evidence is perishable, it could be destroyed, it could disappear, evidence of a crime. And so the officer approaches to try to get the evidence of the crime, and if the person refuses to turn that over, we have the right to, to take it. We also want to point out that we're talking about a Gresham officer here in Portland. While he was here because he's part of the transit police, they're made up of officers from all over the greater Portland area and can be assigned anywhere along transit routes. Tonight at 6, we'll have much more on our conversation with Gresham police and also the opinions from some lawyers on the police explanation and why those lawyers say there might still be some gray area here. Reporting for you live in southwest Portland, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin Local 6.